What's up guys? It's July the 6th. Today marks one year since I started this channel with that black go-kart that got ran over. Speaking of the black go-kart, I went to look at that axle and he said 75 bucks. And somebody gave him that axle. It's actually off my go-kart that I had back in 2013. So I'm not going to buy that. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this one first. I'm about to have a $100 spending spree on this thing. I'm going to get tie rods and a steering wheel. And I can't find seat mounts, so I have to start looking real soon. But I got, about to order my hub right here. I got my hub here. So I just need a steering wheel. need a motor. And I need these nuts right here. Because I lost those. So I'm about to clean this thing off, order my stuff, and see how everything goes. It's been so long, and I actually am about to put my pedals back on and look at that list that I wrote long ago. I'm going to put my throttle rod there. I already got the motor mount on. I'm ready for this puppy to be rideable. It'll be fine. Do it CNC style. So this is an update. I'm gonna update. I'm gonna buy my stuff today. So you guys will see it in like five seconds, maybe. If I show you something else. Quick update on the black go kart here. I'm gonna try to mash this wheel back together, I guess, or something. We'll zip tie my wheel on my go kart. Just kidding. This thing's trash. It's got good airflow now. And this was a wheel that wasn't that rusty. I didn't even bother sending either one of them because I was planning to replace them. But now it looks like I really am going to replace them. Blue mini bike needs a sprocket. I did get the gas tank for it. It's always going to need a sprocket, but before you say. I'll just get online and buy one. It's 85 trees, number 35. I can't find one anywhere. I guess I have the rarest mini bike on the planet here. Painted that helmet right there. So back to the subject of the video though. We're going to order these parts. And get this thing to blast them. Gosh, just sitting here looking at this list makes me hurt. I forgot about chain. I forgot about my sprocket going. That's that crazy cat. I forgot about my predator. Well, I didn't forget about my predator. I forgot about the clutch. I've got, I'm ordered the tie rods. I need a brake kit. Throttle cable. This thing's a little money pent. This thing's on the dollar on the desk. Like these two. I got about. 230 bucks on both of these each and no I'm not selling any of this stuff so don't ask not being rude about that but there's been so many people asking me that so that's the answer to the question none of this will ever be for sale alright so I'm currently putting the throttle rod back on this go-kart so I can get that maximum throttle response from that high HP predator that is expected to come. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get Hemi or non Hemi. But whatever, whatever they got, I don't even care. Both about the same anyway. What's up guys? Working on this go kart again. I picked me out two back wheels. I ended up just going with these six inch rotten tires. I'm gonna test out the tire slime. This one's not nearly as ate up. This one's not nearly as ate up as that one. Somehow, I don't know how. They're both from the same place and same age. This one was outside and one was in. 
but somehow I lost my lug nuts. I think I'm about putting six inch wheels on the front just to get it high off the ground. Or maybe something like this. But my steering wheel will be here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. My tie rods will be here Saturday. So, I have a complete steering system on Saturday. And this should be put up Monday. Hopefully I'm at the beach, but oh well. If I'm not, supposed to be. Had to move the KTM in here too. It'll be fine. So I got about 240 bucks in this frame. And I need 340 for everything. That goes from seat bushing, seat mount, pedal grips, steering wheel. Well, steering wheel is not included. My motor, my clutch. So I could take off 20 for the back wheels because I had them. So 318. But I can say I do like the build. Crazy to me to see how far this thing's came. I've just been messing around with the wheels. Got this old rotten tire over here to pump up without any slime. And it's actually held there for about three hours now, believe it or not. But I need to tighten my hubs. And I need some keyway. So when I go to the hardware store, I got to get keyway. Two and a half inch nut and bolt for this. Two one and a half inch bolts and nuts for this. These two spindles. I need seat bolts and a throttle cable. But I just won't get the throttle cable because I don't need it right now. I still haven't ordered my seat mounts so. though. But uh, it'll be fine. You can really find anything at the junkyard. I just bought these three for five bucks. I'll hold air. This one's cracked out of crap. Better be fine because it's holding air. Perfect for the orange go kart. I can hear this one leaking air from something. Yep, right there. I'll go ahead and get me some tire slime in there. And that should be good. It'll be fine. So instead of using those two, I think I'm going to slap these two on the back of this go-kart. So it'll be fine. Wow. I love the way these tire, this tire looks on here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that one on because it's the same size. This is the one that's got a little leak right here. So I'm going to bring some tire slime down tomorrow. And go from there. I also did look at motors up there, but they're at the junkyard for a reason. It'd be like just bringing something like this home, worse than this, even though that's a 40s model. But in, either way, who cares, because I got two wheels and tires. I'm happy about that now. I have a 6 inch wheel for the front, and I have another one over there. So I'm going to go ahead and get those tires put on, and I'm going to be happy. Pretty cool, I bought three of those for five bucks. And they had mini bikes, but I ended up calling back up there afterwards, so maybe when I get back from the beach. But they said they got somebody that comes in every Friday to get them, so I'll be there on Thursday probably. So it'll be fine. What is up? It's the next day. I got all my stuff, got my seat bolts, took the hub, got keyway, I'm about to throw those wheels on this axle. I did not get throttle cable today, and I just realized I forgot my air cable adapter for this monstrous air compressor that I got for free. It'll be fine. So my steering wheel is supposed to be here today, 
and my tie rods tomorrow, so, and it looks like I'm not going to the beach, so I guess I'm going to spend my week on vacation with my go-kart, you not. <laughs> alright, I'll get it, come back when I got the axle on, alright, got it done, no more of that keyway, it's all balled up, had to fabricate my keyway with the grinder, Nope, I got it. Yeah, I know it's off from that one, but this wheel's wider, so it's got a deeper end hub. I like that wheel. But I'm going to go shoot some air in that tire and try to find an adapter for that air compressor. So I'll see you guys when I get my steering wheel. Well, it's 1.52, and the mail car drove on by, so I'm just going to assume that they don't have my package. Unless a steering wheel fit in the mailbox, but I don't think that it will. But I just went outside and sprayed these racks for this go-kart. Because I forgot about them. I just took them off when I got it. And just remembered I put them up there on the shelf. So I just took those out and sanded the crap out of them. So they're outside drying right now. And I'm about to have to switch to my phone to start recording. So if you notice a drastic change in audio or anything, just know that I'm using a different camera. Because right now, I'm on the GoPro. So, I've got less than 20 seconds of memory left. This is actually my mini bike card. So, don't be mad. But I'm going to stop it before it overlaps itself. So, I'll see you on the other camera. Alright, it is Saturday. I'm not going to the beach. But I'm about to slam these tires right here. It, I don't know if it'll work. It's just something I had laying around. But this tire that's cracked actually holds air better than that one. <clears throat> so I'm about to pop the valve stem out of that. Sorry for that crappy location. Alright, so this is the valve stem core remover. This is what it says. I have no idea how much put in here. So, I have used about half of it. <clears throat> so now I'm going to put this valve stem back in. That crap is going to be so nasty to change. And I actually plan to use this wheel again. I'm going to replace that one. Oh, and I got a load of go-kart tires coming in today, hopefully. I'm going to be real happy. But my steering wheel hadn't updated today either, so. But my tie rods are going to be here. I'm about to put some soapy water on the sidewall. I'm not really sure at all where it was coming from. So it's that simple. I guess. Uh oh. So we still have a leak right here. So let's find that in relation to where this valve stem is. So it's perfectly on top of the valve stem. So I'm going to let all the air out and go again. So I'm just sitting here looking at what motor I might want. I'm probably going to go with a non-hemi. Just because of this little angle right here. I'm not doing any more intake or anything. Just so much to be done about it. It gives you a little bit of power, but not substantial. Like 